Welcome back to the Retirement Income Show. I'm Mark Elliott, alongside the CEO and founder of Oak Harvest Financial Group, A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau of Houston, located at 920 Memorial City Way, right off I-10 and Bunker Hill. You can always go to the website to find out more, oakharvestfinancialgroup.com. I think it'll be one of the more impressive websites you've ever seen a financial team have in place. goes through all of the team members, talks about a lot of different areas of retirement, a lot of great information there. You can always search for Troy's 100 plus videos on YouTube. Just search for Troy Sharp and Oak Harvest. You will find that on YouTube as well. Any questions? You want to sit down and chat with the team? Here's my situation. Here's my concerns. Taxes I think are going up. What do you think I need to do? I've got a million dollars sitting in my IRA. None of that's been taxed yet. I think I've got some issues. What should I do? That's a great place to start. 800-822-6434. No cost to chat with the team. They're here to help. Just don't know if they can until they hear your situation. 800-822-6434. We've been talking about the complete planning approach called the Retirement 360 process at Oak Harvest. And, you know, Troy, we've talked about this before in different areas. You've got the income plan, the investment plan, tax plan, health plan, uh, the state plan. Social Security is the income part. Medicare is in the health care part. That's a lot of moving parts. Most people go into retirement thinking it's all about their investments. And that's certainly important, which is why you start with that in the Retirement 360 process. But the other four areas are super important as well. It's Everything's tied together. It's like you've got a great offense in football. Your defense is no good. Well, it's going to be a challenge. But if you've got a great offense, great defense, and you've got great special teams, you should have a pretty good year. So it's about putting it all together. And your team kind of does that. You've got a great team around you at Oak Harvest. You've built this team. You've been in Houston since 2010 and really have created, I think, a company that's always evolving, always growing to the betterment of your clients at Oak Harvest. So the process, when somebody does call, what happens? We know they talk to Frank. Is it a one call and we're a client? Is it two months later I'm a client? How does that all yeah, play out? It's very astute observation there, Mark, because you've been with me now doing this radio show. It's been four years, five years. <laughs> You know, and, and we don't ever talk about this, but a little bit off air sometimes, you know, you'll, I'll explain to you some of the changes that we're making and where we're going and what we're doing as a firm. And, um, you know, the truth of the matter is we absolutely are about continuously improving, making our future bigger than our past, making our future bigger and better for our clients than their past. And the vision from Oak Harvest Financial Group comes from my experience uh, that I had with my grandparents. So I finished college and I had a finance degree. The only reason I got the finance degree though is because I didn't know what I wanted to do in college. Um, I actually started out as a communications major and I, I quickly found out that was not for me. Um, I thought for a second about being uh, an attorney. Um, my childhood dream was of course to play professional sports once I realized that wasn't gonna happen I thought about being a sports agent and I figured okay law school might not be a bad thing um, but I got to, to college and decided to change from the communications major went into the business school got a finance degree because I said you know what that's a solid foundation I can get a good job and I can make some money Okay, I can provide some security for myself, and it's I'm not going to go the, the the double art major uh, route. So <laughs> I tell I tell young people all the time whether I'm doing uh, sometimes I'll get hired to do public speaking or speak in front of groups or um, whatever it is. When I speak with young people, I tell them, look, the first big investment decision you'll ever make is to determine what you're going to major in in college because you're going to invest not just the money but you're going to invest your time that's two years in your major not to mention the student loan borrowing that you'll do that money plus the exorbitant interest rates which are astronomical relative to the interest rate environment it's all a big scam it's all a big big joke and anyways it it 19 20 years old you have to make the one of the biggest to that point, most likely investment decision of your life. How are you going to invest your time? How are you going to invest your money? And what is the anticipated return once you get out into the workforce on that investment? So if you get a degree in something that costs $100,000, but you're going to get out of college and expect to make $40,000 a year, don't be surprised if you spend the next 10 to 15 years straddled in debt, upset, angry, and just generally not happy. It's because... Somebody didn't tell you what I'm telling you right now. 
So uh, if you have kids <laughs> that are approaching high school, please tell them that and or approaching college, let them know that it's a big, big investment decision. Okay, so getting back to our retirement 360 process, or excuse me, I was talking about my grandparents. So Oak Harvest and the vision for Oak Harvest came from my grandparents. So I finished college and I still don't know what I want to do with my life. But my, uh, my grandparents who meant the world to me, they made every sacrifice for me growing up. Um, I lived with my mom for the first 10 years or so, but my mom was not the most stable person. Um, definitely some ups and downs in those years. And my grandparents took me in. And my uh, grandfather sold his business, sold his home. He was a very simple man. He uh, had a junkyard. Essentially, he bought wrecked cars and sold the parts. He had some mechanics and did, you know, fix cars up as well. I'll never remember, never forget as a little kid uh, watching my grandfather every year would donate cars to the local fire department. And I'd sit out there and what the fire department would do is they bring the jaws of life and they practice uh, emergency life-saving techniques with the jaws of life, getting people out of the wrecked cars. So I remember as a kid just sitting there watching and it was one of the coolest things ever. Um, so they meant a lot to me. They really, um, I wouldn't be where I am, let's say that 100% for sure if it wasn't for my grandparents. So he sells his business, sells the home. They get $2 million. And my grandfather never finished sixth grade. Okay. He was the oldest of several children. His father died young and he, he dropped out sixth grade, went to work, had, you know, it's a familiar story to many of you out there. Um, held down several jobs. He was the man of the house at, what is that? 12, 13 years old. Um, in charge of taking care of not just um, his older or younger siblings, but also his mom. So never thought they'd have that type of money. Sell the home, sell the business, two million bucks. They retire to Murphy, North Carolina. Small little town on the uh, southwestern border of Tennessee there. Um, beautiful town. And they say, Troy, all we want to do is watch the sunrise and watch the sunset. They were thinking about getting an RV, doing a little bit of traveling. Um, I went up to visit them as soon as they bought the home and retired and said, Grandma, Grandpa, congratulations. You earned it. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I graduated college at that point, so they had done their job to make sure that, that I did finish school, the first person in my family to, to finish college. And about five or six weeks later, come Christmas time, uh, December 26th, 2003, my grandfather has two aortic aneurysms. I get a call from grandma. I'm back down. Um, I was in Florida at the time. I went to school at Florida State and rush up there, hop in the truck. I believe it was about a seven or eight hour drive and two aortic aneurysms. He's in the, in, in the, in the doctor's room. Actually, we go to the doctor's room because he isn't feeling well. That's where you find out he has the aortic aneurysms. He takes his shirt off and you could see it. I was in there with him. Two large palpitations in his chest is boom, 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 boom. The doctor looks at him and says, Larry, you have 48 hours to live. Troy, go tell your grandmother what's going on. We're going to prep Larry for flight. Going to hop onto a helicopter and we're airlifting him to Chattanooga, Tennessee. A team of specialists are going to perform an operation. The odds of survival are 50% and it's about a nine hour procedure. So I go back, I tell grandma what's going on. It's the most difficult thing I've ever done in my life up to that point. Uh, we're crying. We say a little prayer, you know, God, please take care of, you know, grandfather during the surgery, you know, give us the strength and, you know, the courage to, to get through this. And I hop in the car, drive over to Tennessee, get to the hospital. He's in a coma for five weeks, well, essentially. Uh, during this time, they don't turn him in the bed enough. They don't tell me what to do. I'm there every single day, 8 a.m., they didn't stretch his arms and legs. They didn't turn him in the bed. So atrophy had set into his arms and his legs, uh, throat muscles as well. Couldn't talk, couldn't eat, couldn't drink after the coma. Had stage four bed sore in his coccyx, which is the lower part of the back. Just a nightmare, 64 years old. Um, and the part I was most upset about was no one at that hospital. I was there every single day, 8 a.m. every single day on the dot. No one told me that I could be helping, that I could be stretching his arms and legs, that I could be giving him this type of physical therapy. I could be grabbing the bed sheets and lifting them up and turning them onto a side every couple of hours. Maybe we could have avoided all that. Uh, he also suffered hypoxia, which is a lack of oxygen to the brain. So 
long story short, and, and, and I've turned this into a long story, but it's important because it's important that you understand who I am, why we do what we do as a firm. And getting back to what you said, Mark, Oak Harvest continues to always seems to be evolving, to be growing, to be improving. And that is because the vision when I first started this company was to be a firm where if my grandparents, when they had retired, simple people, okay, they're not sophisticated. They don't understand finances. They don't understand money. I wanted to be a firm where my grandparents could have walked through those doors with that $2 million, sat across the table from someone they unequivocally trusted that would always without a doubt, look out for their best interest and put a plan together that helped them feel secure, that protected the money that they had worked their entire life for, give it, gave them an opportunity to grow the money. But my grandparents weren't risk takers. They wouldn't have wanted it to take a lot of risk. They wanted it protected and they were happy at four or 5%. Have a tax plan. I saw how much money was wasted because they had no tax plan as far as the, the, the advantages that they could have taken um, or the benefits they could have taken advantage of and just have a comprehensive plan. But more importantly, have a trusted partner as the years progressed into retirement that they could go and sit down with. And they knew that that person who knew far much more than they would ever know or ever cared to know that they would be looking out for them and they would have that relationship and help them get through retirement. And that's why we started Oak Harvest Financial Group. That's why we've grown the firm to, to close to 30 people right now. From the investment team, to the planning team, to the tax team, to the advisors, we, as you can tell, are very confident in what we do, but, but our biggest strength and our most important asset is the foundational principle and in, in the mission that I've set which is to take care of our clients like they're your parents or grandparents. That's it. That is what we do. 1-800-822-6434. 1-800-822-6434. Give us a call. Oakharvestfinancialgroup.com. We look forward to working with you in your retirement. Troy, you mentioned a new book. Can you give us yeah, a preview? Yeah. yeah. So I. So this is what I do. I did this with a YouTube channel. I also do this with... Uh, certain things that uh, for me can be easy to procrastinate. So I do love writing, but I have to break it down. So I'm, I, I get into things and I get into them hard. Okay. But I'll get burned out as well. So I've learned over time, just, I've learned about myself. So long story short, I've been telling people the book will be done by the end of the year. And if I tell people I'm going to do something, I will do it. That's one of the things my grandfather absolutely always preached. You know, your word is your honor. You know, if you say you're going to do something, you do it. So I will have it done by the end of the year. It's going to have to go through production and compliance and marketing and so forth. We're going to have a national book launch um, probably around February. Hopefully, I assume maybe March of next year. So, yeah, it's going to be Retirement 360. It's going to be everything we talk about on the radio, the YouTube channel condensed in an easy to read um, format. It's going to be designed to provide as much value to you, the reader, as possible. Whether you work with us or not, we want you to be more informed, more educated, make better decisions and have a better retirement. So um, that is coming. Again, if you'd like to chat with the team, you, you want to take Troy up on his offer. No cost to come in and, and see what Troy and the team come up with when it comes to your Retirement 360 process. 800-822-6434 is the number. 800-822-6434. You can find out more on the website, oakharvestfinancialgroup.com. And of course, the office located at 920 Memorial City Way, I-10 and Bunker Hill. And of course, you can always search for Troy's YouTube videos. Just search for Troy Sharp and Oak Harvest. Troy, enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great week. We'll do it again next week. All right. Sounds good, Mark. Hit him well this weekend. Investment advisory services offered through Oak Harvest Financial Group, LLC. Oak Harvest Financial Group is an independent financial services firm that helps people create retirement strategies using a variety of insurance and investment products. Investing involves risk, including the loss of principal. Any references to protection benefits or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities or investment products. Insurance and annuity product guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Oak Harvest Financial Group LLC is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. You should speak to a qualified professional before making any decisions about your personal situation. We are not affiliated with the U.S. government or any governmental agency. This radio show is a paid placement.